Hey, we use those examples just to illustrate the point when neither Tout TV nor Terror TV, we give bulls and bears uh, fair and ample do. We like to make sure we hear from everybody, those who are enthusiastic about a market in the middle of a run-up and those who are cautious about it uh, ahead of what could be as significant and what has been run down. Uh, we have no agenda here uh, uh, simply to get the views across. That's why we book Democrats with Republicans, liberals with conservatives, of uh, those who think the economy is great, those who are not so uh, enthusiastic. But we feel that kind of balance is what you need. And then you can decide for yourself, did the bear argument make sense to you? Did the bull argument make sense with you? We're not all one way or the other. I want to stress that because uh, that's the one thing I, I, I value most in our coverage on this network to you, that we look at the good, the bad, and everything in between. And one of those who's been doing that very nobly and very, very consistently, Gary B. Smith, um, who steps back from things and, and looks at trends before they're obvious to a lot of people and shares those trends or his insights on those with you. It's very important to have that sort of perspective, whether he's right or, or whether he's wrong. Well, fortunately, Gary B. is more right than he is wrong. But Gary, um, I always think that's important is to step back. So let's step back from this market after the volatile last couple of months and, and get your sense of what you see dominating theme-wise uh, this new year. Well, I tell you what, first of all, Neil, thank you for your kind words. I appreciate that. I think you have a, a, a tale of two tapes. You have all these short-term worries of which we've talked about, everything from Brexit to the Mueller investigation to the tariffs, you know, to the shutdown. You know, there's probably about half a dozen of them right now, all individually, I think, actually uh, uh, small concerns taken as a whole. I think they become one big concern, and any one can be disruptive. But on the other hand, here's the flip side. We see any bit of good news in any one of them, and I think you're going to see the market rally. I mean, the market's rallying today from the open on, uh, on really no good news, maybe a potential uh, a stoppage of the government shutdown. The bigger macro picture, I step back and I look at all the exciting things that we have. Not only is the economy in good shape, we have the low unemployment, we have the wages rising, uh, things like that. But we also have new technologies that people seem to forget about, self-driving cars. 5G is going to roll out this year. I think the, the tendency right now is to think, my gosh, we've had the good times. They have to be over. It has to be bearish right now. Instead of saying, maybe we just have a lot of things that came to a head right now to worry about. We're going down, but this is a pause in a larger bull market. That's where I would stand. Interesting, because that would echo apparently what the president is saying. Kevin Cork, who's involved in this pool, hearing the president at this cabinet meeting, was saying that the president referred to December as a glitch, his word, glitch. He says that things will settle once trade deals land. Now, you could just as easily argue, Gary that even if we get a, a trade deal with the Chinese, but it turns out that they're going into a slowdown or worse, a recession, and data out today seems to hint of one, then what? Well, it, look, the bears always make compelling arguments. They've made compelling arguments since 1929. They always sound great. Yeah. But what people don't, tend to look at is the good that could happen. You know, the, the president was pretty much discounted on North Korea. And yet right now you ask someone about North Korea and they say, yeah, really not that much of a threat. Trump hasn't backed down. North Korea hasn't launched a, a, a missile over anyone yet. Seems things seem to be going good there. China, it all sounds bad right now. now but remember, this is an economy that's slowing down from 10% annual growth to maybe seven or eight percent annual growth. So there's always a flip side to look at. Um, you know, again, I tend to, to want at least right now, maybe because I'm long the market, to want to look at the good side. But I always think when a lot of people ask me about the market and think that, you know, I'm you or uh, my buddy Gary Kalbaum, as if, uh, I always say that time is your friend. Over a long period of time, uh, stocks will richly reward you. And I uh, yeah, no. a lot of people look at five, a 10 year horizon. But I think people who dollar cost average with the same amount of the money into the market, I mean, they will be rewarded over time. I mean, if you were to, you know, get whipsawed by these wild hundreds of point now thousand plus point swings within a day in the Dow, you're naturally going to be concerned. But if you step back from it, less of a concern. Where are you on this? 
a hundred percent. I'm asked regularly by people, well, what should I do now? And my first question is, well, are you a trader? And they 99% of the time say no. And then I say, well, the answer is nothing. I said, even if I knew that t tomorrow we were going to have a, a, a huge bear market, I wouldn't know where to get back in. So, so I tell people, okay, sell now, and then they'd be, well, when do I, when do I buy? When do I buy? How the heck do I know? Yeah. You're an investor. Stay in it. Is Amazon going to be worth more 10 years from now than it is, or whatever the replacement of Amazon is, if there's a competitor? Of course it is. That's just the way the economy goes. Uh, that's why you have to stay long term. Now, if you need the money, you know, your, your, your son or daughter is going to enter college tomorrow and you need the whatever it is at these $100,000 right, right. for college. Yeah, yeah. Then maybe you want to take some uh, take some cash. But other than that, you're absolutely right. You, you almost have to ignore it. Yeah, I've already told my kids, Gary, you're on your own. Your mother and I are spending everything. <laughs> All right. Good I, I you. understand, Neil. Uh, very good seeing you, Gary. Smith.